Saudi Arabia is a country that is mostly known for its vast oil reserves. Located in the heart of the Arabian Peninsula, Saudi Arabia is one of the driest countries in the world, with an average annual rainfall of less than 100 millimeters. Moreover, much of the country's territory is covered by deserts, which are not conducive to the formation of groundwater or surface water sources. Water has been a precious resource in the Arabian Peninsula for thousands of years, and it was always an issue to struggle with. The region's ancient civilizations developed sophisticated water management systems to survive in the harsh desert environment. These ancient water management systems in Saudi Arabia were not only impressive from an engineering standpoint but also had a significant cultural and social impact. They allowed the inhabitants of these oases to develop a thriving economy, engage in trade and commerce, and build sophisticated societies. Despite these challenges, Saudi Arabia has managed to overcome its water scarcity issues and ensure a reliable water supply for its growing population and economy. Saudi Arabia's water management is critical because the country has a rapidly growing population that requires more water every year. Additionally, Saudi Arabia's economy is heavily dependent on agriculture, which requires large quantities of water to support crop growth. In this video, we'll explore the various strategies and technologies that Saudi Arabia has employed to get water in the desert. Desalination is one of the most critical technologies used by Saudi Arabia to produce fresh water. In fact, Saudi Arabia is the largest producer of desalinated water in the world, accounting for almost 20% of the global desalination capacity. It is the process of removing salt and other minerals from seawater, brackish water, or groundwater to produce fresh water. The first desalination plant in Saudi Arabia was built in 1957, with a production capacity of 60 cubic meters per day. Since then, the country has become a world leader in desalination technology, with over 30 large-scale desalination plants in operation. One of the largest desalination plants in the world is the Ra's al Kar desalination plant, located on the east coast of Saudi Arabia. The plant has a production capacity of more than 1 million cubic meters per day, making it the world's largest desalination plant by capacity. The two most common desalination technologies used by Saudi Arabia are thermal desalination and reverse osmosis. Thermal desalination uses heat to evaporate seawater, leaving behind salt and other minerals, and then condenses the resulting steam to produce fresh water. The most common thermal desalination method used in Saudi Arabia is multi-stage flash distillation, which involves heating seawater in multiple stages to create steam and condense it into fresh water. Reverse osmosis, on the other hand, uses pressure to push seawater through a semi-permeable membrane, which traps salt and other minerals and allows fresh water to pass through. Reverse osmosis is generally more energy efficient than thermal desalination, but it requires a high pressure pump to push the seawater through the membrane, which can be expensive. Desalination plants in Saudi Arabia are typically powered by natural gas or oil, and they consume a significant amount of energy to operate, which Saudi Arabia is rich of. However, advances in desalination technology and renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, have made desalination more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. One of the biggest advantages of desalination is that it provides a reliable source of fresh water in regions where traditional water sources, such as groundwater and surface water, are scarce or polluted. In Saudi Arabia, desalination provides almost 65% of the country's drinking water and is essential to the country's economic development. This process has transformed Saudi Arabia's water supply and allowed the country to achieve water security. However, it's not without its challenges. One of the most significant challenges is the cost of desalination, which can be expensive due to the high energy requirements and the need for specialized equipment and maintenance. Another challenge is the environmental impact of desalination. Desalination plants produce large amounts of brine, a byproduct of the desalination process that contains high concentrations of salt and other minerals. Disposing of the brine can be a challenge and can potentially harm marine ecosystems if not properly managed. However, desalination remains a crucial technology for Saudi Arabia's water security. The country is investing heavily in research and development to improve desalination technology and reduce its environmental impact. 
Additionally, Saudi Arabia is exploring alternative water sources, such as groundwater and recycled wastewater, to diversify its water supply and reduce its reliance on desalination. While desalination has been a game-changer in providing fresh water in Saudi Arabia, groundwater also remains a crucial source of water in the country, particularly in rural areas. Groundwater is water that is stored beneath the Earth's surface and soil, and rock layers known as aquifers. Its exploration in Saudi Arabia has a long history, dating back to ancient times when people used wells to access groundwater. Today, the Saudi Geological Survey is the primary organization responsible for groundwater exploration and management in the country. They conduct surveys, monitors water levels, and studies the geology of the aquifers to determine the best locations for drilling wells. One of the primary challenges of groundwater exploration in Saudi Arabia is the limited availability of data on the country's aquifers. Saudi Arabia's aquifers are complex and vary in their size, location, and depth, making it challenging to assess their potential for water storage and extraction accurately. Additionally, groundwater resources in the country are often overexploited, leading to depletion and saltwater intrusion in coastal areas. To manage its groundwater resources sustainably, Saudi Arabia has implemented various measures, including regulations on well drilling and usage, water pricing policies, and groundwater recharge programs. The country has also invested heavily in technology and infrastructure to monitor and manage its groundwater resources. One innovative technology used in Saudi Arabia to manage its groundwater is the use of satellite-based remote sensing. The technology involves using satellites to measure changes in the Earth's gravity field, which can indicate changes in the amount of groundwater in an area. The data collected can be used to monitor groundwater depletion, identify potential areas for groundwater recharge, and manage the country's water resources more effectively. Another critical aspect of groundwater management in Saudi Arabia is the use of artificial recharge. Artificial recharge involves injecting treated wastewater or surface water into the ground to replenish depleted aquifers. Saudi Arabia has implemented several artificial recharge programs, including the use of injection wells, spreading basins, and recharge dams. These programs help to restore depleted aquifers, improve water quality, and increase the availability of fresh water. Despite these measures, groundwater management in Saudi Arabia faces several challenges, including population growth, urbanization, and climate change. The increasing demand for water, coupled with the limited availability of freshwater resources, has put pressure on the country's groundwater resources. Climate change is also exacerbating the situation with rising temperatures leading to increased water demand and more significant evaporation rates. To address these challenges, Saudi Arabia is investing in research and development to improve its groundwater management practices. The country is exploring new technologies, such as solar-powered desalination and innovative approaches to artificial recharge, to increase the availability of fresh water and reduce its reliance on groundwater. The country's efforts to manage its groundwater resources sustainably through innovative technologies and management practices are essential to its long-term water security. In arid regions like Saudi Arabia, where fresh water is scarce, wastewater treatment and reuse have become increasingly important to ensure a reliable water supply. Wastewater is water that has been used in households, industries, and other activities and contains contaminants such as organic matter, nutrients, and pathogens. In Saudi Arabia, the majority of wastewater is generated from urban areas, with approximately 80% of the country's population living in urban areas. The National Water Company is responsible for wastewater management in Saudi Arabia. This company operates wastewater treatment plants that treat and recycle wastewater for agriculture cultural, and industrial use. The treated wastewater, known as reclaimed water, is an essential source of water for the country's agricultural sector. One of the largest wastewater treatment plants in Saudi Arabia is the Riyadh Wastewater Treatment Plant, which can treat up to 375,000 cubic meters of wastewater per day. The plant uses a combination of biological and chemical processes to remove contaminants from the wastewater, including screening, sedimentation, and biological treatment. The treated wastewater is then disinfected using ultraviolet light or chlorine to kill any remaining pathogens before being used for irrigation in agricultural areas. 
The reclaimed water can also be used in industries such as petrochemicals and cement production, reducing the demand for freshwater resources. Saudi Arabia has also implemented several initiatives to encourage the reuse of wastewater, such as the use of treated wastewater for landscaping and green spaces in urban areas. The country has also implemented regulations requiring certain industries, such as the food and beverage industry, to use reclaimed water for their operations. However, wastewater treatment and reuse play a crucial role in ensuring a reliable water supply in Saudi Arabia. The country's efforts to treat and recycle wastewater for agricultural and industrial use are essential to its water security. The use of innovative technologies and the implementation of regulations to encourage water reuse are critical to meeting the country's growing demand for water. Saudi Arabia's growing population, expanding industrial and agricultural sectors, and climate change are all factors that will have significant impacts on the country's water resources in the coming years. The kingdom has set a target of reducing its dependence on fossil groundwater resources by 2025 and increasing the use of renewable water resources, such as desalination, wastewater reuse, and rainwater harvesting. Saudi Arabia is already one of the world's largest users of desalination technology, producing over 9 million cubic meters of desalinated water per day, which is around 20% of the world's desalinated water. So for example, the majority of water in Medina is pumped there from a desalination plant on the Red Sea. Drinking water in the capital Riyadh mainly comes from the Jubail desalination plant on the Persian Gulf, roughly 500 kilometers away from where it is pumped inland via pipeline. One of the most significant challenges facing the country is the issue of drinkable water scarcity. Another challenge facing the country is the increasing demand for water from the agriculture sector, which accounts for over 80% of the country's total water consumption. The government has been promoting more efficient irrigation practices, such as the use of drip irrigation, and encouraging the cultivation of more water-efficient crops. Climate change is also expected to have significant impacts on the country's water resources. Higher temperatures and changes in precipitation patterns are likely to result in increased water demand for agriculture and domestic use, as well as reduced water availability due to changes in the timing and volume of rainfall. The government has been implementing various measures to adapt to these challenges, such as developing more resilient water infrastructure and promoting the use of renewable water resources. The use of technology and innovation is also crucial to the future of water management in Saudi Arabia. The government has been promoting the use of smart water management systems, such as real-time monitoring of water supply and demand, as well as the use of advanced desalination technologies, such as reverse osmosis, to improve the efficiency and sustainability of water management. The government has commissioned a number of private companies from all over the world for these desalination plants. In order to keep costs low for the consumer, the government buys the water from these companies and sells it to households at a significantly lower price. In conclusion, the future of water management in Saudi Arabia will depend on the government's ability to address the challenges of water scarcity, increasing demand, climate change, and the need for innovation and technology. The government's efforts to reduce its dependence on fossil groundwater, increase the use of renewable water resources, and promote more efficient water consumption practices will be essential in ensuring a sustainable water supply for future generations. In this video, we have explored the fascinating and complex world of water management in Saudi Arabia, a country that faces some of the most significant water challenges in the world. From ancient times to the present day, the availability and management of water have played a crucial role in the development and sustainability of this desert country. We have seen that Saudi Arabia has made significant progress in the field of water management over the years. The country has invested heavily in developing innovative technologies and infrastructure to manage its limited water resources efficiently. The use of desalination technology, water recycling, 
and drip irrigation systems have been instrumental in ensuring a sustainable water supply in the country. However, as we have discussed, the challenges facing Saudi Arabia's water management are immense, and the country must continue to find innovative solutions to address these challenges. The government's plans to increase the use of renewable energy sources to power desalination plants and improve the efficiency of water usage are promising steps in the right direction. There is also a need to increase awareness and education among the population about the importance of water conservation and sustainable water management practices. The role of communities in managing water resources cannot be overstated, and there is a need for greater community involvement in water conservation efforts. Moreover, international cooperation and collaboration with international organizations can play a crucial role in promoting sustainable water management practices, knowledge sharing, and capacity building. In conclusion, Saudi Arabia's journey towards sustainable water management is ongoing, and there is still much work to be done. However, with a concerted effort from the government, industry, and society as a whole, there is hope for a more sustainable and secure water future for Saudi Arabia.